Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and in this video I will talk about Dungan people. You probably heard uh, from the news about Uyghurs from Xinjiang province in China. They have been increasingly oppressed by Chinese government and sent to concentration camps since Xi Jinping came to power. But Uyghurs were not the only Muslims oppressed by Chinese government throughout the history. The other ethnicity that was repressed during 1862 and 1877 by Qin dynasty was Dungan people or Huizhu. Originally living in Gansu and Shanxi provinces, those people gathered together and created a nation based on religion, somewhat during Yuan dynasty during 13-14 centuries. Unlike Uyghurs living in eastern Turkestan, who belong to Turkic ethnicity, Dungan people ancestors are Chinese and they speak Sino-Tibetan language. But how a group of Chinese started to follow Islam instead of Confucianism and Buddhism? There are two legends about introduction of Islam. According to one, Arab traders came to China along Silk Road they took Chinese women as wives and their kids followed Islam. According to another version, Chinese in Gansu and Shanxi provinces changed their religion to Islam during the conquest of Turkic Mongolian leader Amir Timur. Overall, ethnogenesis of Dungan people is diverse, including Turkic, Mongolian, Arabic and Chinese roots. But back to Dungan uprising. During 1862 and 1877, Dungan people and Uyghurs had the biggest uprising against Qin dynasty in which Dungan lost to the imperial army. Being defeated, Dungan left their motherland and came to Central Asia, which was a part of Russian Empire at that time. Chinese Emperor Guangzhou demanded to return refugees but got refused by Russian Tsar. So Dungan people stayed in Russian Empire. Under Russian imperial government, they had to change some parts of their traditional culture. For example, early marriages were prohibited and Dungan men were required to cut their long hair. Dungan was a word created during division into Soviet republics after Bolsheviks victory in civil war. Dungan is a Turkic word which corresponds to Chinese word hui meaning returning. As Chinese Muslims came to Central Asia, they have been called Dungan ever since. Dungan population is relatively small. By 2021, Kyrgyzstan has only 75,000. Kazakhstan has 51,000. Dungan mostly live in the south of the country. Russia is a home for 1,600 people, and some Dungan live in Uzbekistan. Despite of living in Muslim countries after the dissolution of Soviet Union, Dungan still cannot avoid ethnic conflicts. Started in Kazakh village Masanchi in 2020, clashes between Kazakhs and Dungans spread to other villages in South Kazakhstan, leading to 10 deaths and the 170 injured people, destroyed stores, houses and burned cars. According to not confirmed by Kazakh government reason, clashes started after Dungan young men attacked an old Kazakh man, the video of which spread through the internet. Soon after the video, Kazakhs started to burn and attack houses of Dungans, burn their cars and stores. Special forces entered the riot villages and patrolled them for a couple of days until the tensions cooled down. Despite of the fact that Dungan have Chinese roots, they cannot live in contemporary China under communist rule, which has been brutal to all Muslims recently. Neither they can create a state of their own in Central Asia, having too small population and being migrants who came to these lands just 150 years ago.